I don't know how I'm still alive. I'm dude. I have surprisingly been, healthy. Still. I have been extremely reckless this entire time. Just weaving in and out of traffic. I'm loving it. Just messing them up. I, I like the way the way that you usually just devolve into not even killing people, but you just oh. kind of seem to freewheel it out into the desert or off a cliff. Surprising that you see you jinxed yourself. You that talked was about it and then That was a cool way to die. <laughs>
It wasn't that. It, it was that they just kept saying it's gratuitous. It. it was gratuitous. All right, that's fair. Woody Harrelson as a serial killer is gratuitous. You like how contrarian I went on that instantly of just no, no. They should say Carnage more. If you hear any like crunching plastic bottle in the background, those are Danes. Those are Great Danes with a plastic water bottle. No people. No, Danish people. <laughs> Danish people behind us with plastic water. And they're bottles. all right. They're not great. Just tearing them up. All right. We need something Sorry. a little less safe, so I'm going to get out of my car. Oh, and get, get that moped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I like where your head's at. That's yeah. great. We're going to go as fast as we can into the sunrise. Set, set. Which way are we going? Do you do, speaking as fast as you can, do you do like speed runs? Is that in your lane of gaming? Do I do speed runs? Or do no. you enjoy them? Do you, or like, do you partake in that aspect? There's a YouTube channel, pretty big one, too. There's a so. lot of them. Oh! Wow. It's a uh, big blind spot. So the one that comes to mind does reports on. Speed, uh, what do they call it? Speed running. Yeah. You just said the name of the thing. Speed running. And I don't know if this Sorry, right, you person... get hit by a car. You're a little dazed. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know if this person does speed runs themselves, but they're called Summoning Salt. Uh, they're a big deal. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of them. Sure. And uh, they do great. They do really good work. Really in-depth reports on speed running. And there is a huge culture behind it. Okay. I mean, I see the videos all the time pop up as hugely popular and yeah they get recommended to me and I, I mean I've watched some but it's usually only for like a handful of nostalgic games that I just have a lot like I have to want to watch them go through all the Kirby levels just because I liked that as a kid I'm not really interested in the latest standings on the leaderboards and stuff like that no of course not because yeah who cares it's like speed cubing you know yeah you can do a Rubik's Cube really fast that's awesome but that really only gets so awesome no matter how much you see it, you know. Still think it's awesome you, seeing someone. What did you just shoot? I'm shooting a your wildlife, of course. Well, that's. You went through all. Remember, this is the crow <laughs> shooting all over again. I get it. In some games, you gotta you gotta kill things that aren't necessarily people or monsters. But this game, yeah, no, there's no call for that. That's just wildlife, man. That's Are you just talking decoration. about? You said the crow shooting. You're talking about the murder of Brandon Lee. No, I'm not talking about the murder of Brandon Lee, though senseless and tragic as it was. We could devote multiple episodes to that. Right. No, I'm talking about one of the last episodes we just did. Oh, okay. Oh, no, and... Uh, I'm, I, hey. I don't know how I'm still alive. I'm you're I surprisingly been, healthy. I have still. been extremely reckless this entire time. Just weaving in and out of traffic. I'm loving it. Just messing them up. I, I like the way... The way that you usually just devolve into not even killing people, but you just oh. kind of seem to freewheel it out into the desert or off a cliff. Surprising that you see you jinxed yourself. You that talked was about it, and then that was a cool way to die. That was a really cool way to die in this game, especially. It's usually pretty predictable how you're gonna die. I stole a white sports car, and I'm currently cruising the streets. That's a cool sports car, man. That's all right. Our sports cars goes. I'm. A lot of options, so I just kind of wanted to get in a car real quick before I started murdering people, so my wanted level wouldn't be too high. What's the sportiest car you've ever owned? Ever owned? Yeah, like personally. Oh, well, nothing. Let's talk I about it. I've never owned a sporty vehicle in my life. I've had three cars and a truck, and they're all pretty bland. Cavalier, a neon. I currently drive an Accent, and somewhere in there I had a Ford Ranger. So we met when you drove the neon. Yeah, I had a neon and a red neon, right? Yeah. Red Neon, Red Cavalier, Blue Accent, Purple Ranger. Ah, uh, college. The sportiest car I ever owned was a... I've owned two sports cars. They were both Nissan Z cars. And I got really into... That's cool. That's super cool. You got, see, now you see why I just dove out of the white one. <laughs> Inferno! I got really into the whole Z car thing and realized pretty quickly how expensive it is owning a sports car. And decided that it wasn't for me. Well, you don't strike me as the sports car type. No. It was me trying to kind of identify with the kind of people that I was around at the time. Really? Which isn't great. I'm not super proud of. No, I just mean that were you hanging out with a lot of people who drove sports cars? Yeah. For a little bit. That's interesting. For a small... I worked in talk radio at the time. Okay. And I hung out with people that drove sports cars. And it's because a couple people involved in the station also drove sports cars. Gave us common ground. Did they peer pressure you into this? Like subtly? Like not they verbally, they but like you they didn't soaked say, in more than you realized. They didn't say, you better get a sports car. We can't hang out anymore. 
It'd be hilarious if they did though. They had they had, <laughs> they had like them. little matching jackets and stuff. Like you can't have a jacket. You get you're out of the club. Get out of here. When did you switch did you switch cars on the fly? I don't even remember you doing that. Yeah, no, I saw this uh did you see the giant? Look oh at look at that. I like that, whatever that, that thing does. That's a turbo, baby. Hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. It's probably a little more into it than that. So Yeah, I'm just trying to get reacquainted with the controls. So yeah, while you're talking here, I've been practicing my car theft. They had sports cars, and I wanted one, too. And I'm, I, not, I'm not super proud of that. I'm trying to think of an equ a, a kind of an equivalent thing, because I've obviously, like, we all fall into that thing of, oh, did I even want, I didn't even really kind of want this. I don't know what, and then, yeah, like you said, you backtrack it. Oh, it was the guys at work. The difference thing, though, is that usually you spend thousands of dollars on a car, and after you do the thing, which is the spending of the thousands of dollars on a car, you go, uh-oh. Maybe that was a bad move. Maybe that wasn't the best idea that I've ever had. And that was right. It was not the best idea I'd ever had. It, but you have lot, you've had lots worse ideas. That's it, fine. It's fine. It all came to a head whenever I, I wrecked my second sports car. Uh, hit a patch of ice. Went in the ditch. It flipped over. I walked away miraculously unharmed. Did it just explode while you refused to look at it? <laughs> no, it didn't explode. It just kind of crumbled. And sat there and reminded me of the three-week headache I was about to have. Yeah, that's not a fun one. I've been driving a four-door, four-cylinder SUV ever since, and I have no interest in going back to that kind of lifestyle. And guess what? I can fit stuff in my car now. I can do stuff with my car. See, that's why I like the Ranger. Other than just driving fast. The only thing I didn't like about the Ranger was that it was a manual, and I just kind of... You don't seem, I don't know, I see, like that, to... That's under the whole, like, I don't seem like a sports car kind of guy. You don't seem like the guy that's going to, like, go out of his way to drop a stick shift, either. I don't go out of my way. Um, actually, I almost just bought a car just recently that was a manual. But that was actually the deciding factor. I was like, day to day, I don't really want to. I don't mind Even it, though fine. you know how to drive one, you're oh, like, yeah. I don't want to do this. I, well, I had that that's Ranger for years. Box. And that was, I drove it every day. I didn't hate it. I just, yeah, it's not my preference. And at this point in my life... I'm not gonna spend that amount of money on a car that I don't. That I already am driving off the lot, going, shouldn't have done this. This, this was a bad idea. <laughs> like this, this is gonna annoy right. me every day. You're in the car dealer for six hours, signing all the paperwork, and as soon as you finish, and in the whole time, in the back of your mind, you're going, oh, I don't want to shift. I, I don't want to shift. I don't want to roll backwards on hills randomly whenever I'm stopped. Uh, you know, just all that little stuff that comes with driving a stick. That it's not a big deal, but it's. You know, I got a lot of stuff to do with my hands, and driving can only be so much of it. We did a thing whenever we bought our last car. That was a good pancake. Me and my wife collectively, this was our big, this was our big purchase that Wait, we did together. Did. Sorry, that's where we're at in the game. We, we are, both of our names are on the title of a, of a moving motor vehicle. And while we were in the finance office, the finance guy was very good at his job, and we bought one of those stupid, like, repair warranties. Mm-hmm. The thing that all I do is preach about how they're such a ripoff, and and usually they are. And what did I do? I did the thing that I hate yep. so much. Oh. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Nobody is perfect, including me. Even though I'm awesome, is this a cool car? This looks like a pretty cool car. It's a nice one. Hey, is this the car you were just driving, or is this something a variation mm, on that car? It's yeah, it's still a sports car, but it, I don't think it's the exact model. When they were designing this game, they did a really good job at making you feel like you were driving the car that you were in. If that makes any sense. I don't know how else to describe it. I think you're referring to... Haptic feedback? Well, um... I don't know if, if that... I don't know if that's the term I'm about to describe, but I... The way I always thought of it was... Yes, you could tell what kind of car you were in by how it handled, by a, a number of factors, aside from just, like, how fast it would potentially go and stuff like that. I'm going really fast, man. And this car goes fast, and there's lots of cars in this game that go fast, but the way that it handles at those speeds is its own thing. Like, even if you have a nice truck in this game, it's not going to feel the same when you're controlling it and driving it at those For speeds. For sure. Is that what you're talking about? I just leveled up in driving by hitting that... <laughs> you sure did. By hitting that embankment back there, and that was super cool. Shit. I liked it. I'm looking for a gas station. Because, well, because I'm low on fuel. Feel something. You know why I need to find a gas station, all right? 
Bugle? The same, the same reason you find gas stations in real life. Bugle. So you can ram into the gas pumps, and it explodes. Duh. That's not gonna do it. I'm stuck in the junkyard. These guys are like, what is happening? Those guys are just trying oh, to yeah. work. Yeah, those gonna... guys are just trying to make an honest living. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother them. But she has to die. That's not gonna come off well. No. Gonna... That's bad optics. Speaking of that, I should go take a shower. We'll see you next time, everybody.